If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already. And with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 165 of my player here on FIFA 15. We actually played West Brom in the last episode in the league and uh, we were able to come out with a positive result with a 2-1 scoreline. So we'll uh, be hoping for similar in uh, the next game in the FA... Is it FA Cup? No, it's uh, December, so it must be and it is the Capital One Cup. But uh, we were... There was loads of goals actually in the last episode, but unfortunately... The majority of them went to Manchester United in the first game with a 4-2 scoreline. And then obviously that win against West Brom at least gave us a little bit of confidence back to head into this next game against them again. And uh, hopefully come away with a victory from this one. I can't really, not sure whether it's home or away. Did it, it will say on the uh, on the central tab. It is at home as well. So that will do us uh, some uh, favours as well to be playing in front of our own fans. And then we'll have Everton in the second game of the episode as well. So if you enjoy, as always, feel free to drop the video a like rating and subscribe if you haven't already. We continue to be growing fantastically well thanks to your support on the Youth Squad Challenge. So I can't thank you enough for that. Obviously there was an episode uploaded last night as or last yesterday evening. If uh, you missed it, then check the channel page for it and there will be another episode uploaded tomorrow at 6pm as well as per the Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. But uh, for now, let's jump into the game against West Brom and hopefully we can uh, come away with a victory, get ourselves through to the semi-finals of the Capital One Cup. Of course, that, that would be uh, over two legs in January, but for now we're in December in the rain, but West Brom are the opponents again. It's Joel Campbell down the right. I'll make a run down the line for him to use me. He hasn't been able to find me, but he has found Coquelin. Works inside to Torrell. It's a nice run here, actually, but West Brom are defending so well to this point. There's been no real goalmouth action whatsoever, but Coquelin can have a shot here. Draws a good save out of Jakubovic. Obviously, the former hole keeper at West Brom. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in the previous episode as well. But Koscielny here playing it into me again. I see the man on the far side, but I'm just not confident being able to find him with the amount of West Brom shirts they've got back here. It's literally been nothing but this so far. Us having possession in the midfield and just struggling to find that final through ball. And I really didn't want Ramsey to play that kind of ball to me there either. And we've given away possession, although admittedly it was my fault. We'll hope to uh, get you something with regards to highlight in the not too distant future. Something that's actually worth watching. Free kick for West Brom. They're going to try and put it into the box and... Put it in the mix and see if they can let the ball drop to a teammate. They've been able to knock it down to Roof, but Kasoni's stolen in and gotten it away from him. We'll see if we can catch him on the counter attack. I've got Joel Campbell on the outside of me. But is he going to be able to find a cross? That's the question. There isn't much space there. He could find me on the floor here, actually. We'll try and get around the outside of the defender, then we'll turn inside, go for the left footed shot. Oh, off the woodwork! That's definitely the closest we've come to a goal so far. I can't believe turn inside that nicely and then only hit the frame of the goal. That's definitely been the best chance for either side so far. But sadly, he's still not able to find a breakthrough goal. He's blank on the edge of the box. Into Sordell down the right hand side of our. 18-yard box, Brownie Days in the box, might get a shot off eventually. Taking the time, West Brom, the shot comes, oh my days, it's a screamer. Absolute strike from Kelly, and they have themselves a shock 1-0 lead away from home. In the driving seat, West Brom, to get themselves, get themselves through to the semi-finals of the Capital One Cup. That was a ridiculously good strike, almost no backlift whatsoever it seems. Just got the ball into his feet, turned, hit it, and it flew into the top left-hand corner. Definitely want to see a replay of that. They seemed like they were going nowhere there, to be completely honest. And then Kelly just takes it in his stride, turns, and then crack. What a finish. West Brom 1, Arsenal 0. And this game is going to have to come to life now. Otherwise, we're going out of the competition. We're making a change. Jack Wilshere is coming on on the hour mark for Toro. We'll see if that actually gives us any sort of extra solidity in the middle. I have a throw in here. Santi's going to ping it to Aaron Ramsey, who may work it to me on the floor. He's gone back to Kieran Gibbs here, waiting for a cross to potentially come in so I can go for a cheeky headed goal. That's worked in to Jack Wilshere, who's found me. Can he get an assist with his first involvement on the pitch? No. Shot blocked well by the defender, but nice introduction there for Jack Wilshere, being involved in the forward play immediately. See if we can get him involved again. Wilshere into Santi Cazorla. Do I come short? Do I wait for a cross? He's got two men on him here, Santi. So he's probably not the favourite to get the ball 
into the uh, the danger zone from there but Kieran Gibbs will still continue to try and come down this left hand side we may get the ball into the box now call for a cross from Coquelin he has pinged it but straight to Carl Jenkinson into Joel Campbell do I come short for a near post ball no it's gone towards Aaron Ramsey but Jones is going to get it away Wilshere can't win it back and now West Brom come away with it Ramsey, oh, he's gone quickly up to me. I wasn't ready for that, but we have managed to get it out wide to Alex Coxley Chamberlain, who's fresh on the pitch. Aaron Ramsey again. I was going to call for that, but he decided to go to the Ox instead. We'll continue with it. Let's go for a cheeky finesse from distance. Ooh, that was headed towards the far top corner. Jakubovic had to be on hand to pluck that one out of the air. We did score one similar to that from closer range in the, was the last episode, wasn't it, against Manchester United. But unfortunately, that one wasn't quite far enough into the top corner as we needed it to be. Gamboa pings it forward, looking for Berahino, but Ramsey's going to knock it down to Koscielny. We're running out of time here. There's just over five minutes to go, and we need to get the ball up this end of the pitch, please. Chuck Campbell with good footwork to completely break the legs of the defender, but that's not the sort of ball that we need to get ourselves back in it. We need to work it on the floor rather than hoofing it into the middle of the box to absolutely no one. See if we can get a better move this time. Here's Joel Campbell down the right. We can work it back in. No, again, he's just hoofed it to absolutely no one. It may pay off, but Gibbs' header goes wide. Oh, it's just not the way to win a game, I don't think, or not the way to get yourself back into a game. We need to work it into feet so that we can uh, try and create a decent goal because just lobbing the ball into the box like that isn't going to work against this West Brom defence. They're clearly panicking at the back, but not enough for us to uh, be able to pick them apart just yet. Koscielny hoofs it forward wastefully, gets it straight back again. That's why we can't be hoofing it forward into those areas. It's just not going to work. Try and get this through to... Oh, it's Koscielny. No, it's Jenkinson on the edge of the box. That's the only thing with all-out attack. You will get a decent player in a decent position, but unfortunately it always tends to be a defender when you're on all-out attack, and then the shot is terrible, which sucks. We need the ball to drop to an attacker in a position like that so that they can get a good turn on the ball and then a good finish again. Just pointless balls being lofted into the box. It's not going to do us any good whatsoever playing balls like that. Jenkinson tries it again and it still doesn't work and the final whistle goes. Arsenal are out of the Capital One Cup at the quarterfinal stage. West Brom get revenge for their Barclays Premier League defeat and progress through to the semi-finals at Wembley. No, not at Wembley. It's the FA Cup semis that are at Wembley. They'll have to play... Actually, who will they play? I don't know whether uh, the other uh, court finals have been played yet. We'll have a quick look. It will show it, I think, at the end of the... Uh, no, it's not going to. Yes, it is. Southampton win 3-0 against Huddersfield. Uh, Newcastle beat Manchester United 3-1. That's another turn-up for the books there. Another result you wouldn't have expected. So at least we're not the only ones to uh, suffer a defeat to lesser opposition. And then Liverpool play West Ham later on, uh, either tonight or in tomorrow's... Uh, game, but still disappointed to go out of the Capital One Cup at this stage. But Aaron, Aaron Ramsey is going to be out for three weeks as well. Not what we need, but we'll try and pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and jump into the game against Everton. Santi, I'm going to call for a through ball because we could be in behind in the opening couple of minutes here. I've got the legs on the defender. Can I get a finish? Well, we couldn't have asked for a more perfect start, could we? Straight back into the swing of things here at Goodison Park. I couldn't resist the pun. And we could take a 1-0 lead after just three minutes. The pace was too much and then just a simple finish underneath the goalkeeper. Nothing he could do either. Really, really pleased with that. We needed that after that West Brom performance. And that's got us off to uh, the perfect start here away from home. Hopefully, three points coming in the league. With, uh, I could, no, I'm not, I could have made another golf pun, I won't. <laughs> Hope. McCarthy on the outside of him. Well defended so far by Arsenal this time around, which is all that we could say against West Brom, although they are having a man arrive late here. Barkley gets a good turn in. Morales on the overlap, but another poor shot from Everton. They're not really causes too many problems so far, but we did say the same about West Brom in the first half in the last game, and you know what happened in that one. Morales turns his side the defender nicely could go for a shot here Kevin oh brilliant save by Martinez corner for Everton that was a good reaction save by the goalkeeper finding himself in the starting lineup more often than not these days don't know what's happened to Wojciech Szczesny he wasn't involved in the game against West Brom in the FA Cup or in the Capital One Cup sorry earlier either it was uh, Ospina so I don't know where the pole is maybe he's injured I don't remember a message about him being injured but regardless 
Martinez may be called upon again here if Ward can find a teammate. Whelan, are they going to have a shot? Being hounded well by defenders here, Everton, whenever they're on the edge of the box. Ward again being closed down nicely and forced backwards. This is solid defending from us and exactly what we need to maintain our 1 0 lead. But Whelan trying to just jink one way and the other. Bit of space here for Ward, work it out to hope he has the shot and Everton a level. Oh, as soon as I start to praise our defence, we concede again. Martinez just didn't react there, although to be fair, was quite close range and well placed and well struck as well. Everton get themselves back on level terms, 1-1. One, one. Keel bowls it out. Oh, I nearly got to John Stones there. Referee's played advantage. I was just a little bit late arriving on the scene to try and steal it off the young Englishman. Unfortunately, well, hopefully we don't get booked for that, but we'll have to wait and see. Ross Barkley trying to force something before the end of the first half, but the shot was pretty poor, and that is going to bring the first half to a close. Everton 1, Arsenal 1 at the break. As we start the second half, it turns out I did pick up a yellow for that tackle at the very end of the first half, unfortunately. So uh, John Stone's got a kick in the shins, and I picked up a yellow card, but well, hopefully it won't affect us in this second half. Oh, I called for that ball there, it's been picked off. Hopefully that isn't a sign of things to come in this second period as well, but we will have to be careful now not to get ourselves our first ever red card in the My Player series. I'd like to go my entire career, if I can, without seeing the colour red in the form of a card. We've had red shirts on our back almost all the time, actually. Sunderland, Manchester United, Atletico and Arsenal, but Fortunately, no red cards so far in our career, and I don't want that to change. Olsen, nice ball there into Jack Wilshire. He's going to find Santi Cazorla on this left-hand side. Can they, between them, work a ball into the box? The answer to that question is no. And Everton are coming on the counter-attack. Kevin Morales does have a little bit of pace in those legs, so we'll have to be wary of that. And James McCarthy is twisting and turning away from everybody right now, but Ross Barkley's on the ball. Obviously, has been very, very good for us in the Chelsea career mode, but Mehdi Abade gets it up wide to Brendan Galloway, into Abade again. Everton threatening here on the hour mark. Hopefully they don't go in front. I'd, well, a point away from home against Everton isn't a bad result, but after the way we went in front uh, so early on, I was kind of hoping we'd go on to dominate the game, which we haven't done. But the least I want from this is a point, at the very least. I would obviously prefer three. And if we could get three with a second Chesnoid goal to go hand in hand with that then that obviously would be preferable as well but right now st oh, struggling to uh, put together any decent moves Galloway could put the ball in the box goes for a back heel they do work it nicely here's Mehdi Abade got people waiting in the box for a cross not long left now really don't want Everton to go in front if they are going to create some chances here no but they are going to go in front Martinez can only palm it directly straight back at Seamus Coleman could you really have put that anywhere else that was ridiculous Seamus Coleman with the shot at the near post put it around the post for a corner palm it to one of the three defenders that stood near you but no straight back at Seamus Coleman and it is a simple finish Arsenal 1, Everton 2 as they bring on Long to replace Barkley not Shane Long I think it's Chris Long although I might be wrong uh, no rhyming intended there, but we might be through here to perhaps try and have a chance to get ourselves back level immediately, but I fired it wide. Uh, looks like we're going to be having two defeats from today's episode. Did not want that to happen when we started out. I wanted passage through to the semi-finals in the Capital One Cup, and I wanted to get a, uh, a win in the league as well. It looks like we're going to get neither. Morales down the right-hand side. Being tracked well by Omeric Laporte. Good tackle. Let's see if we can quickly get it up the other end. No, we can't quickly get it up the other end. Time is done. Everton 2, Arsenal 1 is the final result. A 1-0 defeat against West Brom in the cup and a 2-1 defeat. Stop it, Coleman. Um, Wayne Rooney did that in the last episode, didn't he? Did the old uh, easy celebration. Never mind. We did score after two minutes, but we just weren't good enough to get a win from that one. Not even good enough to get a point. Everton beat us, and that's, well, Newcastle beat Liverpool 4-0. Newcastle coming up with the results in today's episode. They did it in the in the Cup as well, didn't they, against Manchester United. Ourselves, City and Man U all outside the European spots with Liverpool, Chelsea, Spurs and Newcastle rounding out the Champions League and Southampton there in fifth. Man City do have a game in hand, which is key to point out, and so do Cardiff and Man City behind us. But, oh, Cardiff and Man United, sorry, behind us. But... United can only draw level with ourselves and Cardiff with that game in hand. And the goal difference is actually better than ours. So if Cardiff get a point in their game in hand and Man United win theirs, we could drop down as low as ninth. 
not being the best of seasons on a team front here at Arsenal. On a personal front, though, we are having one of our best seasons. Uh, 26 goals in 24 matches played, so we can't really complain too much, hoping to get that boost to 81 before the, or to 82 at least before the end of the season. If not, well, we're definitely going to use all of the attribute boosts at the end of this year, and we'll have to see whether we get a move or stay here at Arsenal. It depends where we finish this year, and uh, I would like to finish the, uh, the series with one final season with all of the attribute boosts on and with Champions League football as well so we may end up moving away from Arsenal but for today's episode that's going to bring us to a close so thank you very much for watching as always drop the video a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days as well but for now thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time